From locker room to handcuffs, that is now the fate of four McNicholas High School freshmen. They now face charges after police say they assaulted a teammate. Evan Millward is on the story. Evan, you spoke with the victim's mother today. Yeah, and we also just spoke to Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieters. He says his office now has the case, and they're going to be looking into whether these teens should be bound over and eventually charged as adults. Meanwhile, those four teens were just released back to their parents here at the Hamilton County Juvenile Court and Youth Center. What a difference a day makes. Thursday, four McNicholas freshmen were back in class after serving five-day suspensions. Now they're here, arrested for felonious assault. The punishments stem from an incident in a high school locker room earlier this year. Police records state a 14-year-old was kicked in the groin with a cleat while another boy put his butt in his face. The school saying in a statement Friday, quote, McNicholas High School takes all instances of inappropriate behavior very seriously. McNicholas High School does not tolerate inappropriate behavior against any of its students. The four freshmen taken from school Friday in cuffs were kicked off the team when that report was filed. All over what some parents now call hazing. I also did talk to the victim's mother earlier today. We just wanted to see how her son was doing and why she decided to file that police report. She says she doesn't want to comment on the case, especially now that it is under investigation, and did add that she wanted to maintain her silence. Uh, quote, I don't want to make it any harder on him, her son, than it already is. The four teens here, we're told, will be in court November 14th. We're live in Mount Auburn. Evan Millward, 9 on your side.